So when you have a demonstration on site, you'll see the challenge pressure or breathing rate as we pull the air out of the mask and pull at that line. So we're going to assume that Boots worn the mask for five minutes just like you do with any other fit test method and then we'll jump into it uh, through step one. The read on protocol has five steps. The first step is a face forward. Booth will then wait for the measurement and then he'll start the test when it's time. He'll then bend at the waist for a bend at the waist step. Uh, shake the head step in the middle vigorously, talking out loud, opening, closing the mouth. And the last two steps are where the redon gets its name, an actual redonning of the respirator to make sure that that person's been trained properly and knows how to wear the mask. So as you can see, Booth is engaging the first step. So through the first step, we're going to pull the air out of the mask and we're measuring how much air leaks into the face piece right now through this step. So the Quantifit's already finished step one. Uh, the screen shows us a pass, so Booth's going to bend at the waist. Uh, we've already started our time there to look at this. Now it's, a, it's important also to remember that the Quantifit is pulling a work rate or a breathing rate against the mask. So instead of relying on employees to challenge the respirator with breathing, the machine pulls the same deep inhalation for every employee, every step, every time. So for consistent fit testing throughout your facility or fire department or whatever the scenario is, the Quantifit's going to pull that high work rate on the mask to challenge it very vigorously for every person. So no variability of people or, or test subjects challenging the mask. So as you can see, Booth's been into the waist. He's now engaging step two. And so we're, we're through the step two step. We'll see how that turns out on our test uh, here. So again, the Quantifit will kick off. We have a pass. So now Booth's going to move to step three. He's going to vigorously shake the head, open talking and close his mouth. Minutes. He's talking a bit. And then we're going to have Booth stop and face forward and start the test. What we're looking for here is how well did the mask reseat on his face. So that's really the key here. Through shaking and moving and talking, how well does that mask reseat on his face? And you can see it reseat, reset very well. So now Booth's going to redon the mask. He's going to loosen all of his straps. He's going to get it off his face. And now he's going to redon the respirator. Keep in mind what we touched on earlier, no other system in the world can you take the mask off and redon it. It's the only system in the world that we do that. So now we get a really good look at how well does this mask fit Booth structurally, how well does he train to put it on. That's a key component of fit testing. And what we see here is another good score. So at me as the operator, I'd watch Booth do it again. He's going to loosen all the straps. He's going to redon it. He's going to make sure that he knows how to put this face piece on securely every point of the test. So this is step five. As you can see, quickly moving through an OSHA compliant fit test or compliant with the ISO regulation, whatever body is, is local to you. So last step, we're going to look at this, wait for the Quantifit to assess, and then we get a full fit test as a pass here. So very important. So that's a full read-on fit test, start to finish, through every single test, all the way through.